Hi everyone, it's Anthony DeCaffet, author of the novel Fireline, and I'm here today to talk about my experience with self-publishing so far. And my dog is, is lying on the platform where the tripod is, which is great. Um, so anyways, I'm here to talk about some of the lessons that I've learned so far. Now, full disclosure, I'm early on in this process. I only released Fireline last month, but uh, I do think there are some important lessons that I can relate to you. So lesson one, of course, starts with writing the book. Now, in order to write a good book, you need good quality feedback. To do that, what I recommend, highly recommend, is hiring a developmental editor. Now, what this person does is helps you get your novel and your manuscript in fighting shape. When I did this, I used uh, Carly Hayward from Booklight Editorial, and she was great. She really helped me bring out, you know, my protagonist's emotional turmoil and get it out of my head and onto the page. You want to say hi? Do you want to say hi to everyone? Come here. Come here, little boy. Ugh. All right, everyone. This is my writing partner, Sammy. <laughs> Anyways, he, he helps me uh, take breaks while I'm writing. And he also likes to get in the way when I'm filming these videos. So say hi, Sam. Okay. Anyways, something else you should know about is RevPit. This is a Twitter community of editors who offer advice and events for authors, including a yearly contest where you get a chance to win free feedback and a developmental edit of your novel. Have a formatting plan for your final products. What does that mean? Well, that means that you just know what kind of formats you're going to be outputting to when all is said and done. And you need to know that you're going to need a professionally formatted PDF for your print version and a professionally formatted ebook for your Kindle or whatever kind of reader output that you're doing there. Now, I would say this is lesson number three. This is an important lesson in and of itself. Ebooks are a pain in the ass. They are hard to do and get formatted correctly, especially the Kindle versions. The Kindle tool, uh, Kindle Create tool, isn't great unless you're importing just the most basic of text, and then it, it wants you to basically put it all in manually, and it's very time consuming and tough. If you paste a whole bunch of stuff in there, all the paragraphs and indentations will be messed up. So that's an important lesson. Be prepared to deal with the challenge of outputting to ebook. Kindle format, um, which is the Mobi file, or any uh, EPUB, which is the standard ebook format. So be ready to do all those things and have a formatting plan in place before you get started. One thing that really helps with all of this is when you write your manuscript in your original word processor, like Word, for example, which is what I did, you want to just keep it keep the formatting very simple, which I didn't do, but this is what I'm going to do next time is just make sure everything, even chapter headings and all that stuff and special in-world text is just in the most basic Times New Roman and it's either regular, bold, or italics. That's it. That way, when you're pasting into your formatting programs like InDesign or Kindle Create or anything like that, it doesn't get all jacked up and with the formatting, because this can cause some, some major problems and stuff that you have to manually correct. So that would be something that either you or the person formatting your ebook for you would have to correct. So the next major lesson that I would say is to have the final copy of your novel, all the formats that you need, finished two to three months before you actually release. So this is a scheduling lesson. Uh, I think I was super excited to get my novel out to the world, but I think I should have taken more time bef between when I actually finished the final product and when I released it to the world. Why? Because when you have this, this final product, you can get it to reviewers and influencers and start working on your marketing strategy before you actually release it to the world. That way you're not doing it all at once. All right, last lesson for today. Now, when you're self-publishing, you need to have a great marketing plan. Unless you're famous, it's not enough to write a good book. You have to let people know it exists. So that means social media posting, it could be ads, a lot of people do newsletters, it can be any combination of these things. And you have to be ready to set aside the time and resources, whether that's money or otherwise, manpower, 
to make sure that you get the word out there about your book. Those are five of the most important lessons I've learned about self-publishing so far. If you want me to do more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. If you have any reactions or questions about what I've talked about, let me know in the comments below as well. Thanks for watching everyone and stay safe. Here are some of my go-to resources for help with self-publishing.